Okay. Let's talk a little bit about coaching changes. Uh, if you go to texasfootball.com slash coaching hyphen changes, or if you just go to texasfootball.com, it's right under, it's right at the top. It says coaching changes. Uh, we are keeping, of course, uh, your source for the uh, coaching coaching moves in the 2020 offseason. I guess technically it's 2019, 2020 offseason, but we'll just call it the 2020 offseason, okay? Yeah. We'll call it 20. Cause the, We're already here. Almost <laughs> all of it's happening. We already celebrated. Um, Matt Stepp. Your Dave Campbell's Texas Football High School Football Insider is, of course, got his finger on the pulse of Texas high school football. And this is his season. This is step bomb season. Oh, yeah. This is this, <laughs> this is, is when ISO, like, ISO season clear. Uh, ISO. Yeah, this is this is this is this is bad step, like calling for the ball. He's just like, no. Nope. Well, there, I remember there were a couple news breaks last week that he didn't get. And we just like let him have it in this in the slack. Chat. Yeah, we're like, God, dude, <laughs> like, yeah. you're slipping. What well, well, you yeah, we'll talk about one of them here in a minute. That was a relatively big one out in East Texas that he didn't get. And yeah, we got to we got to make sure we, we roast him whenever we get the chance. But anyway, Matt step is breaking pretty much all of these stories. We got him at TexasFootball.com. Uh, but we'll go through basically the big ones uh, across the state of Texas. You can see all of them at TexasFootball.com. Um, Beaumont United will have its second ever coach, Arthur Arthur Lewis, uh, who was kind of – he came out of retirement. He used to coach – I want to say he was at Westbrook? Maybe Central. I know he was a, a big luminary there in um, – he's a Beaumont ISD kind of legend down there in, in Beaumont. He came out of retirement to take over Beaumont United. It's not surprising uh, that he is, uh, he is going back into retirement. Uh, I think the idea was Arthur Lewis was going to get Beaumont United off the ground, get it moving in the right direction, and then – going to retire. So Beaumont United is open. Belton is also open. Uh, uh, Sam Skidmore uh, is moving into an uh, an athletic director role uh, after, uh, I would say, a relatively disappointing season this year, three and seven. Uh, they are going to be, uh, they are going to uh, open up there in Belton. Elsewhere, this came down today, but Ronnie Mullins has uh, retired at Irving MacArthur. He was there for 16 years mm-hmm. there in Irving MacArthur. I want to say he, yeah, he's the dean of, of Irving ISD coaches. Uh, so Irving MacArthur, uh, before that, he was at Naaman Forest and Prosper. Uh, he was Prosper ISD athletic director for a while. Uh, but this is uh, Ronnie Mullins is retired there at Irving MacArthur. That job has come open. Um, uh, also, uh, we mentioned Beaumont United is going to have its first uh, their second head coach in program history. So is Keller Timber Creek. Keller Timber Creek. Kevin Golden, after ten years, is going to step aside. Uh, they uh, the best mark. They went three seven and five in two thousand sixteen. Uh, but Keller Timber Creek is a, is a job that I think um, has a lot of uh, uh, upside there. Mm-hmm. Um, unsurprising, one that we mentioned, uh, Tyler Lee has opened. Mm-hmm. Tyler Lee, Kurt Trailer is leaving. Because uh, he's uh, got a Shocker. college job, <laughs> Kurt Trailer, of course, the brother uh, of uh, of of his brother Jeff Trailer, who's the new head coach at UTSA. He joins the UTSA staff uh, after uh, th- after three seasons at Tyler Lee. Uh, so Tyler Lee's open. Tyler Lee's the only real now that Longview's dropping. If you're talking about East Texas six A jobs, mm-hmm. this is about it. I mean, you can go way out east and, and stuff. You know, you know, however you want to define East Texas, you can probably right. find another six A job. But really, as far as like true East Texas, Greater Tyler area, this is the only six A job in, in East Texas. So uh, that's that's going to be a big one. That I feel like is going to get some uh, some big time um, applicants, mm-hmm. big time applicants. Uh, El Paso Chapin out there. Uh, Renee Hernandez uh, has stepped down after 13 seasons with the uh, with the Huskies. Um, they are dro- uh, they are uh, that's five A Division one job. So that's a big El Paso job uh, suddenly come open. Um, this is as far as if you're looking at teams that had great 2019s. Uh, New Caney coming open is a little bit yeah. interesting. Uh, yeah. Brady Pennington is retiring after 17 years. Um, they went 10 and one this year. The dreaded 10 and one, but they went 10 and one. Yeah. And he was 116 and 69 overall there, uh, both at New Caney and then before that he was at Van. Um, we have a job that's been filled. A couple of jobs have been filled. Uh, West Mesquite came open briefly. Uh, Jeff Neal was reassigned after seven seasons. Uh, and uh, this was one we had caught wind of as a possibility during state championship games. Mm-hmm. Uh, but Frank Sandoval mm-hmm. is leaving Mejia to yep. go to, uh, go to – uh, uh, West Mesquite. Mm-hmm. I know that he's got family from the DFW Metroplex. I know he wanted to get back to the DFW Metroplex. So Frank Sandoval, after doing a great job at Mejia, mm-hmm. uh, is now really leaving. Really Yeah, really did for the Black Cats. He is now moving to West Mesquite where he will take over the Wranglers program. Uh, we had a legend retire. Hugh Sandifer has retired. Uh, after after 32 years, uh, he uh, announced his retirement. 
the I want to say the four. I tweet this. I want to say the fourteenth winningest coach in Texas high school football history. I can look it up. Uh, he led the Bulldogs to a title game or to to a state championship in 04, Three other title game appearances. Two hundred eighty five, one twenty seven, and four. Uh, what the a last career. the last two years have been rough because they made them jump to 5A and they yeah. just it has been it's been rough mm-hmm. for them the past couple of years uh, but Coach Hugh Sandifer one of our favorites around here uh, is retired we wish him a very happy retirement there at Abilene Wiley but Abilene Wiley it's going to be a job that I think is going to get some some attention uh, that is a job that uh, that is uh, you know you get out there I, I know that Abilene High and Abilene Cooper kind of uh, are, are are the the brand names out there but don't do not sleep on Abilene Wiley I think that's a big job down there you know what I didn't realize when I was looking through this list earlier? I didn't mm. realize that uh, Galveston Bowl is the uh, Golden Tornadoes. You didn't know that? I didn't. Mm. I, I, I See, this is, a, that, this is primarily yeah. an educational show. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. <laughs> um, Alamo Heights in San Antonio area is open. Mike Norman has retired. Uh, he was uh, he went eight was eight seasons with the Mules uh, down there. Dayton has retired. Or, uh, Dayton is open after uh, Jeff Nations uh, is moving into an AD role only. So that that has jump uh, that job has come open. Um, elsewhere, other big names. Okay, so we can talk about the one that uh, Step got scooped on. Yeah. Probably, yeah, I think I'm comfortable saying this is the biggest open job in the state right now, is Gilmer. Mm-hmm. Gilmer has come open. Matt Turner has retired after 17 seasons at Gilmer. Uh, he was the head coach for five years after Jeff Trailer left. Um, he went 53-17, and 17, went to the semifinals twice. They went 10-4 and four this year. Um, this is a huge job. Look, this is a huge, huge job. And I'm very interested to see where they go because, in a lot of ways, when you take a look at Jeff Trailer and then they promoted Matt Turner from within, mm-hmm. they have not done an outside coaching search in probably the better part of 20 years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so this is the first time it's truly. If you want to say that when Gilmer, when Jeff Trailer left, that they knew they were going to promote Matt Turner, mm-hmm. wasn't really a search. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You can say that it's been 20 years or so since. Gilmer has come open. Got to bust out the Rolodex. Right. <laughs> uh, but this is a this is a great job. A, a huge job. You talk about pedigree out there. 4A Division Two. Mm-hmm. This is a huge, huge job out there in Gilmer. <laughs> Step commented. He said, uh, I did tease it, dot, 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 killing me, y'all. Yeah, well, he did. <laughs> Listen, he got scooped. Look, he got uh, scooped. But <laughs> it happens. It happens, man. Okay. You know, look. Michael Jordan didn't go undefeated. Yeah, you know true. what I mean. <laughs> Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan off nights. Um, that that job has come open. Um, elsewhere, Edna's come open as uh, uh, this is a rather surprising, but Edna's going to be on its third coach in three years after uh, Robert Draper is going to move into administration. They go eight and four this year. It's a proud program down there uh, with with the Cowboys, but uh, they are looking for their third coach in three years as Robert Draper is moving into administration. Um, elsewhere, another legend. Uh, is uh, Mike Hedrick has retired. Uh, Mike Hedrick is the 11th all-time winningest coach in Texas high school football history. He has 307 wins, um, and he is retiring after 44 years. Uh, 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 just an unbelievable co- career there. Led uh, Franklin to the title game in 2015. Uh, we wish Coach Hedrick uh, the, the best of the best of luck. That was a guy. Um, that that we always enjoyed interacting with, mm-hmm. and, and of course that was a program that always had a great uh, pedigree, a great tradition. So interested to see what happens there. Um, elsewhere, bu- 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 oh, another retirement uh, is is at Abernathy. Abernathy, mm, Daryl yeah. Daly. Yep. Uh, an- another one that I think we can file under, not surprising, uh, but Daryl Daly retired. Uh, this was back in Jan- on January seventh. He retired um, after eleven years at Abernathy. Uh, 104 and 33. The reason we say it's not surprising is that Bryson, his son, was a senior, mm-hmm. yep. uh, and it just kind of, you know, he's he's graduating, and so he probably, you know, a, a lot of these coaches when they when they have kids that play for them, they want to go, they want to finish out the career, and then if there is a, a clean break, it's easy to break. So mm-hmm. uh, we wish Coach Daly uh, the best, uh, a, a great retirement. Yeah, that's another good. Uh, that's another good. Job too. I mean, yes, that's, that's, oh, yeah. that's set up for somebody Abernathy, to come in and just kind of keep the train going. Same with Cisco. Cisco yeah, is Cisco also too. was open for a minute as uh, Brent West re- uh, moved into an AD role for 19 years there uh, at Cisco. They've promoted uh, Kevin Stinnett to be their new head coach there uh, for the Lobos. Uh, so it, interested in that one. That's I think is very interesting is it Garrison. Garrison uh, mm-hmm. is open at this point. I know they didn't have a great. They had a bit of a disappointing 2019 season. That's a really really good squad. A really good program there. Uh, Larry Prince. Uh, leaving after four years there uh, with the Bulldogs. 
Uh, and then finally, if you want to talk about teams with uh, with recent state championship pedigree, uh, Monday. Mm-hmm. Monday is uh, is uh, it, it will have a new coach for the first time in seemingly forever. Patrick Corker is stepping aside after 15 years. He goes 122 and 57, two titles in se- in 07 and 2012. Uh, they have promoted their defensive coordinator Justin Jocelyn. Justin Jocelyn is the new head coach at Monday. Of course, we've got all the Texas high school ball coaching changes at TexasFootball.com, so make sure you check that out. Step, uh, whenever he doesn't get scooped, is going to get um, these uh, updated at TexasFootball.com. So you might as well bookmark it. Just bookmark it and so you click. Do people bookmark anymore? I do. I mean, I don't know. I, I do. I, I'm, I guess I'm people. I don't know. You said you're people. I'm people. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's true. But I just mean like society. Right. Does society yeah. bookmark Does society anymore? bookmark things anymore? I don't know. I don't know. Do you? Uh, I like two things bookmarked, so I'm not a big bookmarker. Uh, okay. Anyway, uh, write it on your hand. TexasFootball.com slash coaching hyphen changes uh, for all the Texas football coaching changes. 